Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Creations with AG. In this video, I'll be showing you guys my very first DIY. And I came up with this idea myself on how to make something really fun and wintry themed for your dolls. So let's get started. First thing we need to do is look at the supplies that we need. I have everything laid out right here and one thing behind me that I can show in a second. So the first thing you'll need is some hot glue sticks and just whatever ones fit your hot glue gun. And you'll also need some card stock paper or cardboard. So this is some really thick paper I have, like it doesn't even bend. Like this is what you'll need, really thick paper or cardboard. And then your scrapbook paper, which will be used for the actual print on the mug that we're making. And I got this one from a frozen scrapbook paper set. I was just looking around to see what I had and I hadn't used it for a while and I realized this is so pretty and it has snowflakes all over it, different styles, and it's so wintry and so much fun. And then the main thing that the mug is made out of is this tubing. So this is just like pipe tubing, and I'm sure you can pretty much find this anywhere. And we had a lot of it laying around from something random, so that is how I was able to get this tubing. And basically what it is, is it's just hard and solid, but you can use anything you can find that's hollow and hard and solid. This is just some pipe tubing. And then of course you'll need your hot glue gun, which is the base of what we're making. This hot glue gun is going to help us so much along the way, so I cannot wait to use all of these things to make a really fun mug. And before we get started, I'm going to show you the finished product and what it'll look like. So here's the mug itself. If you do watch all of my videos, I mentioned in a winter room video that I was going to show you guys how to make these mugs, and here I am doing it. So this is what it looks finished. And this is just a simple style one, but I can show you guys. There's one that is a bit more of a, an elaborate style. And here it is. It looks the same, but on the bottom it says, with love, the AG company, or you can really write whatever you want. And then the inside, I also glued in a little plaque that says, you are loved. And it's really cute, because I, I got the you are loved idea from a mug I have. So that's what it looks like finished. So let's get started with the DIY craft itself. So now we're going to glue the tubing onto the scrapbook paper. So I'm flipping it upside down, and as you can see, there's Elsa. And what we're gonna do is just make the measurements of where we're gonna want to do this. So all I'm really doing is I'm gonna glue along here, set it right onto the paper, and then I'm going to roll it. But right now I'm making my measurements. So as you can see, we're right here is where I wanna stop. So I'm gonna grab my Sharpie and mark that. all done so now I have my mark now I need to make another mark on the whip so I'm just going to go over here and just put it on and I as I can see I you want to leave a little bit of extra room so I did a dot right here and now I'm going to show you guys how it looks next to the dots on some of my mugs I fold in the extra paper into the actual mug so that's why I'm leaving some extra room so here's how it looks this is about how much extra room I left so now let's cut it out and glue it on. Here's my piece. So here's how it looks. As you can see, it looks extra tall because there's extra pieces on both sides. But now over here, there's lots of extra, so don't mess with that. And on the bottom, we're going to try to trim the extra off. How I'm doing this is I'm just going to make a little slit all around. Try not to cut the tubing. And now that I have these slits, I'm just going to bend them in
And this is how it looks with all of the sides bent in. And it does look pretty messy, but don't worry, we're making a bottom later on. So now let's go ahead and finish up the top. So we're just gonna do the same thing. You wanna make four to six little cuts. And now that we have our cuts, we're gonna do something a bit differently. We're going to take the piece and make sure they're all separated from each other. It's okay if they rip a little bit. And now put a little dot of glue and spread it out on each piece and fold them in. That's how we're gonna get the effect that I did on the previous mugs that I've already made. So here's how it looks, and you can just kind of rub it to smooth it out. And if it looks a bit uneven and you're not happy with it, just keep pushing in the sides and it'll start to look more even. And if you want to, you can also put a little bit of hot glue border and glue on some more paper or anything you really want to to even it out. So now that we have this, which is very messy, let's cut out a circle on the hard paper to fit it. Basically how I did this is I got my mug or my tubing and I flipped it upside down and I traced all along the border. And then I kind of finished the circle because it was kind of hard to get it all around. As you can see, the bottoms aren't perfect because it is pretty hard paper. But now I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. Now I have my piece and it's okay if it's a little bit uneven because we're going to be fixing it up. So now if you want to fix your piece up a little bit, try not to take too much off because you don't want it to be too small, but you can definitely fix it up a little bit. Now here we are with our mug and let's flip it upside down to glue on our bottom. So now I have it all glued on. And as you guys can see, there's a lot of extra material on each side, but I'm just gonna let the glue dry. And I ran out of hot glue, so I have to put another stick in. But then I'm gonna do a bit more gluing on it to make it more even. All right, so here's how it looks, all glued. Now I'm gonna cut the edges to make it a bit more thin and even. So now I'm all done, and I'm just going to kind of rub the sides a little bit, trying to get them to even out. That definitely looks a lot better, and we're gonna do some more steps to finish them up. Now back to using our cardboard or hard paper, let's cut out a handle. So for the handle, you just wanna kind of estimate your sizing on it, but definitely do longer than you want it. So here's the piece I cut for my handle and it looks pretty straight. So now I'm going to do some things to it to get it to be able to bend better. You want hard paper so the dolls can hold it. But the thing is with cardboard and this type of paper is if you fold it, it kind of gets that crease in it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I am by the border of my table and basically what I'm going to do is rub the piece along the table to get creased over the whole entire thing until it feels nice and bendy and isn't covered in little creases. 
See, it looks great. Sometimes if you're using hard paper, it will split, but that is actually okay. Just glue it back together, that way it's even more bendable. Now, before we glue our paper onto the mug, we need to make sure that we fold the ends in a little bit. As you can see, I had to glue mine back together, but now it's really sturdy and it's perfect. So I'm making two little bends on either side. And now this is what it looks like. So now I'm gonna run it back over the table to get those creases in with this. Now find where your paper creases, and then grab your paper piece and stick the handles onto the balls of hot glue. Hold it and wait for the hot glue to dry. Now it dried. The handle does look a bit funky, so we're gonna even it out. So now I decided to make the mug handle look a bit different, and this one can actually be easier for the dolls to hold. So here's one style you can do. Instead of pushing the two little bends down, you can push them up and you get a bigger handle, but this one is tighter and sleeker, and I think it looks a bit more realistic, but remember, it's completely up to you. And depending on how you cut the tubing, some of it can be shorter and some of it can be bigger. If you wanna put the you all loved or any other symbol in the mug, just cut out a small piece of normal paper, write your message and hot glue it to the inside. For the bottom, get a fine point Sharpie and write the message. Now your mug is all done. I'm sure the dolls will enjoy this so much on winter days. It's great for coffee and hot chocolate.